Welcome back to Hunting SOBs. I'm John Monty. Um, today we're going to show you how to turn in, turn your Hawk Helium 2019 stick from this into this using just three colors, uh, three different colors of spray paint and a couple sponges. This is a very simple task to do. Three sticks does not take very long. It's very simple. I'm going to kind of run through with the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna give everything a base coat with the lighter color, uh, and then I'm gonna go from light to dark, going then green, and then dark brown. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my tan. I've got my sticks laid out. As you can see right now, I have got the steps folded in, and the, the reason for that is, is so that way I get the inside edge right here coated as well so when you flip that down, you don't see it, but when you have them stacked, it's just a um, just something that I like to do um, aesthetically. Uh, so we're just gonna give everything here a, a quick base coat with the tan. All right, now that we've got our base coats on, um, and, the mic. and the mic on now, and as you can see, I've already started dabbing this. Uh, we're gonna continue to dab. You're just gonna spray it just a little bit, put a little bit on the sponge. Uh, when you first, a little helpful tip, or tip, whenever you start off and you put this, hit a spot that's not very noticeable because you got a lot of paint on it and it tends to be really thick at first. So hit somewhere on the base or somewhere that's not so noticeable before you get up on the top here so that way you don't have big globs of paint and you can thin it out a little bit kind of goes a long ways um, you're gonna go you know of course heavy on the base coat and then a little less heavy on the green and then a little less heavy on the brown can see here I finished everything um, I meant to mention before use a non-reflective paint don't use anything with any gloss in it um, it's very simple to do it didn't take me but 20 minutes to do this I'm very happy with it as you can see in the other pictures it blends into a tree very well I'm extremely happy with it it's my sticks and I didn't have to touch them <laughs> <laughs> um, guys thank you again for watching I'm John Monty with hunting SOBs don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube and Twitter. I just got a simple reminder that uh, we're here in Tennessee and we got season opening up pretty damn soon, don't we boys? Next weekend. It, it would actually be Friday. Yeah, so, big Friday. Uh, that's right. We've got a few deer we're going after. Hopefully we can put one down for you. Uh, I will be hunting out of a tethered manis. Uh, John here will be hunting out of a tethered manis. To be determined. To I've be got determined a couple of options. Jeremy. He's got some options. Uh, we've got different sticks, a wild edge steps, perch, predator platform, ridge runner. Uh, so we're going to let you guys know what we like, what we don't like. Um, I yeah. guess that's basically it. Yeah, and I guess I, in that time in between this early season and the start of regular bow season, we're going to try to get all the platforms and do a review. Yeah. And then also throw a review in on the, the Tethered Manus, the Arrow uh, Flex, and the Heath Heart Saddle, and then maybe the uh, Yarrick if we can if we can muster to get our hands on one before. Yeah, we we're trying, hunting, guys. So. Yeah, so, we are. Uh, anyway, so. That's it for this video. I'm Derek Kaiser, John Monty, Jeremy Kaiser, and we'll catch you later. Thank you.